Hello and welcome to this GCSE physics revision video looking at energy stores and energy transfer pathways. We're going to look at what energy is and how energy is transferred from one store to another. But before we start, what do you call someone who steals energy? A jewel thief. <laughs> so what is energy? Energy isn't an actual thing. We can't touch it, see it, hear it or taste it. Energy is a mathematical way to describe how much work is being done by different processes. Energy is measured in joules, where one joule is roughly the amount of work being done when you lift an apple one metre into the air. Scientists talk about energy being stored in different forms. So, what are these different stores of energy? There are nine main energy stores that you need to be aware of. These are the chemical stores, such as fuels, food or electrical cells, the kinetic store, which holds the energy of moving objects, the gravitational potential stores, which describe the energy of an object due to its height above the ground, remember the apple from a few seconds ago. Then we've got the elastic potential stores, where energy is stored in objects which have been stretched or squashed, there are thermal stores in which the energy being stored is determined by an object's temperature or physical state, i.e. solid, liquid or gas. Magnetic stores describe the energy in magnetic objects which are attracted or repelling each other. Similarly, we've got the electrostatic stores in which charged objects are attracting or repelling each other. Then there's the nuclear store where energy is held inside the nucleus of an atom. And finally, there's the vibrational store of energy in a vibrating object. I like to think about the various energy stores being emptied or filled. So try to think of it like water being stored in beakers and being transferred or poured from one beaker to another. This way, as one beaker empties, another one fills, but the total amount of water, or in this case energy, stays constant. So the total amount of energy in the universe remains constant. It isn't created or destroyed. If we take the example of lifting the apple again, we can describe the transfers as being from the chemical store of my muscles to the gravitational potential store of the apple as it is raised above the ground. Let's now have a look at the methods by which energy can be transferred. There are four methods or energy transfer pathways. The first is the heating pathway. Here, energy is transferred from one store to another due to the difference in temperature between the objects. Energy will flow from the hotter object to the cooler one. Then we have the radiation pathway. A vibrating object or an oscillating electromagnetic field will radiate sound or light out in all directions. It will eventually be absorbed into the surroundings, causing their temperature to rise slightly. Electrical work is done by the movement of charged electrons carrying energy through an electrical circuit from the chemical store in the cell to the thermal store in the lamp. Mechanical work is done by forces as they cause objects to move or change their motion. See if you can identify the energy transfers occurring here with the person climbing the stairs and the girl on the bike. For each situation, your job is to identify the input energy store, the transfer pathway and the output store. Why not pause the video here and have a go for yourself before I talk you through the answers. Looking at the person on the stairs then, we can describe the transfer as being from the chemical store in their food or blood glucose to the gravitational potential store as they push themselves further from the earth. The pathway in this case will be via mechanical work as forces are being used to push their body upwards. The girl on the bike is showing a similar energy transfer in that she is emptying her chemical store via a mechanical pathway, but since she is travelling at a constant speed, it's not the kinetic store being filled. Instead, it's the thermal store of the surrounding air, road and tyres as they each receive a tiny increase in temperature. Before I go, I just want to tell you about a student in my class once who had so much potential, so much energy, but then he fell down the stairs and lost it all. 
Finally, I want you to be among the first to see this new infinite energy transfer machine I've created. I'm hoping it'll work. <laughs> so that's it for now. Don't forget to watch my other revision videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please remember to stay in touch. You can get some interesting and fun science content, notifications of new material or revision advice by following me at plutoniumscience.com or via my Twitter at PU94Science. If you prefer, you can email me directly to suggest some other content or to just ask a question about what you've seen here. Keep up the revision and good luck with the exams. Take care. <laughs>